without any delay, I just want to say that I am really, really excited about sharing this product more deeply with our Conscious Planet members and anyone who's looking to have um, a concentrated salad. <laughs> That's what my brother used to call it. He used to say there's like 10 salads in one pill or something, but I don't know. I just know that there's something very magical about this. I'm looking forward to hearing, um, you know, wh why you started this product and what it does for us. And I know there's a patent behind it that is, you know, something that is outstanding. Um, I'm not really understanding how it's possible, but it's possible to have a patent on this. So if you could explain um, those things, that would be wonderful. Well, we started uh, the product about 23 or 24 years ago, and we, we had no intentions of getting into the health food industry. I was a mechanical engineer, and Alan was a nuclear physicist and chemist, and we've known each other for many years. I'm from Ireland originally, and he was born in England. Alan developed a very aggressive cancer, prostate cancer, and they gave him about four to six months to live. And so, of course, they wanted to go through all the major mainstream treatments. And, and I'm not anti-mainstream treatments by any means. And sometimes uh, complementary medicine and mainstream medicine really goes well together. But uh, he decided that he didn't want to do chemo and radiation at that time. And so it drove us to start looking at what's out there. Um, I've done a lot of running and I ran for Ireland at 10,000 meters when I was going to university. So we were around a little bit of complementary medicine in the form of maybe vitamin C, vitamin E, fish oils, nothing um, quirky or different to, to like what's in uh, phytomune. But uh, so I was around it a little bit and I'm sure most people have not met very many um, nuclear physicists so, uh, they, no. <laughs> so they, they are different they think differently um and he did and everything was about research he used to say at the beginning jack this stuff's a lot of hooey i don't really get it and i says well we got to dig and we got to look for information anyway long story but we started to look in the british journal of urology and in it there was an article on in one edition and it said that plant sterols can help men with BPH. And BPH is benign hypoplasia where they can't go to the bathroom easily or they can't stop the dribble. And so it becomes a real issue. It's, it's not always the precursor to cancer, but it definitely is a real irritant. And it's very hard for some people to live with it. So he was developing that at quite a rapid rate as well as being diagnosed with the cancer. And uh, he was getting up maybe four or five times a night to go to the bathroom. So it was really difficult. So we started to order some of this product. It was coming in from the UK and it only had about 20 milligrams per capsule. And then after a month or two, um, he called to make, make another order and he couldn't get the product. They said that um, Big Pharma in the European Union had stopped a lot of supplements being sold. So that's what drove us to, why don't we look and see if we can find stuff about uh, phytonutrients and what could we use and how could it help your health, blah, blah, blah. And so uh, a long story, but we, we found out that plant sterols have many amazing attributes. They're antimicrobial, they're antibacterial, they're antiviral, they're anti-inflammatory, but mostly we love them because they were immune regulators or as the physicians say, they modulated the immune response. And that was so important. So whether you have cancer, autoimmune diseases, um, heart disease, everybody who we've been able to measure their blood profiles have all got spiked levels of inflammation. And they come mostly in the form of interleukin-6, which is a pro-inflammatory cytokine, and C-reactive protein. Um, both of them are nasty and they're at the base of most conditions or diseases. Wow. Allen's was through the roof when we measured Hills and he was totally convinced we've got to find a way to naturally reduce this because normally the physicians would give you prednisone, methyltrexate, and they're pretty powerful drugs. They work and there's a time and a place for them, mm -hmm. but long-term use, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. So the plant sterols were fascinating to us 
The other thing that we noticed early on in research was that they're attached to, fi to fibers, <clears throat> excuse me, in the diet, um, fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts. But when they're extracted, then they become what's called hydroxyl organic compounds. And hydroxyl groups are very susceptible to stomach acids. It's kind of why big pharmaceutical companies enteric coat their capsules or soft gels. They're trying to protect the active ingredient or the medicine okay. to get it through the stomach acids without getting destroyed. A lot of stuff is destroyed there. And for years, every time we see uh, people, um, why don't you try this? So we look at it, we're like, wow, it's a hydroxyl and they don't even protect it. And, and generally it's only about 70, it's only, no, about maybe 70, 80% of it ineffective. So it's not very effective and you have to take truckloads of it. So we wanted to find a way to take small doses and get therapeutic reaction. Mm. And so we found a way to enteric coat the active molecule. And we don't use plastics or phthalates. That's what pharma uses. But we found a seaweed that's uh, harvested in the Northwest coast of Ireland about an hour from where I'm was originally born and raised and it's a brown algae and we found that when you dry it then and put it into a liquid that it could actually harden onto the molecule and allow it to go through the stomach acids without being destroyed wow. then it goes into the lower bowel and it hits an alkaline environment and it opens up in about five minutes wow so we gathered the seaweed in the northwest coast of Ireland. And I can tell you, I've been there many, many times as a kid and as a young person. It's still one of the few pristine areas of the world. There's no factories. It's right on the North Atlantic coast of Ireland. And I tell you, if you go there, there's usually a gale blowing, <laughs> but the <laughs> seaweed is clean. We used to pick it and let it dry and then put it in sandwiches when we were going to school and wow. we'd eat it. It's and loaded with. Want to do it as a kid? <laughs> I know. I tried it on my kids, and they said, "Dad, that smells like dirty socks. <laughs> We're not eating that stuff." But it is so good for you. Wow! But dry, well, it'd be like the crunchy kale, like people dehydrated kale is such a big thing. You have seaweed chips. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or you get it in um, a lot of Japanese dishes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really, really healthy. So we bring it into Vancouver in a powder, uh, and then we found a way to liquefy it. And this was just um, from looking at a little bit of research that we we saw about brown algae, and we thought, I wonder, could you liquefy it? And you can. So I don't know of anyone else that does what we do. Fascinating. Yeah, so it's really unique and novel, and um, it just makes the product a lot more therapeutic. So um, going back to Alan's health, when, when he first got diagnosed, we also did some tests and it showed that people with cancers, autoimmune diseases, heart disease have got uh, issues with really good antioxidants entering the system. So the antioxidant that we use in the product is a grapeseed extract and we bring it in from the south of France. It's really high in proanthocyanidins. Those are really powerful antioxidants. And so those antioxidants and the plant sterols are very synergistic and they're also hydroxyls. So we coat those as well. So the sterols and the antioxidants all get sprayed with the seaweed so that they go through the stomach. Um, so here's another thing that's important to people. Most of our diets today don't cover off enough phytonutrients. So if they're immune modulators or they regulate the immune system and they reduce nasty inflammation, how come we're not getting enough of it? And the reason is that the diet is really lacking in these phytonutrients, mostly from over-processed foods right. or from spraying of herbicides mm -hmm. and uh, nasty chemicals on our foods. So we got involved with a uh, University of Leicester in the UK. They sent some researchers over to Florida and they were looking to see what's going on with all the typical fruits and vegetables that we're eating mm -hmm. and why are we not getting enough phytonutrients? And the answer simply was when plants are sprayed with chemicals, they have an actual innate immune response 
So very similar to us. And so when they're sprayed, the plant closes down its ability to produce phytonutrients. Wow. So we, there was a study done on some Seventh-day Adventists in California. They're typically a very strong vegan and vegetarian in diet form. And we found that they're only getting between 40 and 60 milligrams per day of phytonutrients, even though they eat truckloads of fruits and vegetables. So why? The simple answer, fruits are processed too much. They're um, overheated when you cook vegetables. Best to eat them raw if you can, or very minimally cooked. Yep. Mm -hmm. And of course, the chemicals close down the plant's immune response to produce them. So the, the diet should be giving off somewhere between 300 and 400 milligrams a day of phytonutrients in order to reduce inflammation and to balance and regulate the immune response. We're not getting it. So the hypothesis is that's why we're seeing a lot of these strains, autoimmune diseases like Crohn's, um, rheumatoid arthritis, irritable bowel, chronic fatigue, Sjogren's yeah. disease, wow. um, fibromyalgia. Some of these conditions were never seen 30 years ago by physicians. Wow. Um, so they're all in the last 30, 40 years. So um, that's kind of how we started the product. It was basically not as a business, but to help Ellen recover. Well, you have a book as well, um, Immunity Unlocked. Yes, we do. We, we wanted to write a book that was uh, covered off maybe about eight or so of the most common conditions that the product helps. Mm. And uh, we talk a little bit about immune regulation uh, at the beginning and uh, the importance of diet, exercise, and spirituality in your life. It's not just popping pills. It's a whole soup of different things. It's like a stew of spirituality. And whether you go to church every Sunday or, or you meditate by the river or you feel close to a God or a spirit at the top of a mountain, that's what you have to do. Yeah. One of the things Ellen and I noticed, um, we were involved a lot um, with cancer groups. We used to go and talk to them and... Uh, what seemed to be a common thread amongst them was um, they felt inadequate. A lot of cancer patients, they had usually um, issues with abuse, whether verbal or physical, mm -hmm. and they all had very low self-esteem, which was really interesting. Wow. And I, I can probably share with you that that was, those were factors that Alan had. He didn't realize it, but once it was pointed out, so, he said, oh, my gosh, that's me. So, so yeah, so we used to go and try and encourage people to find spirituality, exercise, yeah. um, uh, find out um, a little bit about yourself and, and love yourself, right? If you, you have to love yourself. Whole, it's like the holistic approach. That's like what I totally am all about, body, mind, spirit, right? And we that was our first conversation. We, we discussed how you know, just even my own brother that has recently passed such a powerful man and, you know, just stuff that was suppressed, that emotional stuff that was never dealt with because he just, you know, wanted to power through because he was, you know, that person that other people needed. So yeah, it's, it's so important that spiritual side and integrating it and loving yourself is everything. I, I think we all go through that. I know I can identify with that. I never felt adequate um, most of my life, but now I, I, this sounds awful, but I don't mean it how it's going to come out, but I look in the mirror almost every morning and I just go, I'm okay. Yeah. I, we're, we're made perfectly imperfect, all of us, right? And it's a whole growth process uh, of, of improving and getting better. And, and when you're feeling down, Go out and help someone else. Wow, it just lifts your spirits. It's so true. It's so true. So we've been, we've been selling the product for about 23 years, mostly to physicians. And they use it for conditions like um, simple things like allergies, colds and flus, all the way to serious things. We, we sell our product into some cancer clinics. And by no means am I saying it's a cancer cure, but it really does help people. 
Um, usually the immune system in these patients is very suppressed. Mm -hmm. And so you have to try and um, encourage the immune response without overstimulating it. Right. So that it doesn't go into overdrive. And so that's why the immune balance, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a teeter totter. If you think of a teeter totter, you got a 50 pound kid on one end and a hundred on the other. What happens to the teeter totter? Yeah. goes out of balance. So you've got to try and regulate it or modulate it. So phytoimmune pulls down an overactive immune response through T2 cells and pushes up an underperforming immune response through the T1 cells and brings it back into balance. And when people get that occurring, yeah. you can see progress in their, uh, their wellness. So like right now in the planet, I mean, there's so much fear with what's going on and so much suppression and anger. And I mean, that, that, that energy itself must be, you know, reducing our immune power, you know? Oh, absolutely. So it causes well, cortisol. Yeah. Cortisol is a nasty hormone. And um, when that goes on the increase, everything starts to get out of whack. And then, of course, we can't say the, the C word um, that's going on right now, but so let's use um, viral infections like pneumonias, things like that. Um, the product works really well because it reduces C-reactive protein and interleukin-6. Those are nasty inflammatory markers. So right now, anybody that gets um, a viral infection, yeah they have this potential of having this um, inflammatory cascade. And you could you probably people have heard it on the news. Doctors are talking about it now a lot. We've been talking about C-reactive protein interleukin-6 for 20 years. And I'd say the last 15 or so years, doctors look glazy eyed at us. It wasn't well known. It wasn't spoken about a lot. And we tried to educate docs about it because we found out about it about 20 years ago. Um, so when these two inflammatory markers um, attack the body, everything goes haywire. And so with viral infection, this is what's causing inflammation in the lungs, the liver, the heart. This is why viral infection right now is so critical because of this inflammatory cascade that is occurring. And so you want to try and reduce it. So just to give you an example of uh, those two markers, about three years ago, I woke up with a rash on my chest about the size of my hand right here. And it was roaring red. And I thought, what the heck is this? And about uh, 24 hours later, I woke up the next morning and my whole body was completely covered from head to toe. It felt like I'd been dipped in boiling water. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I couldn't control it. I was in and out the shower. My wife was putting ice packs on me. I finally had to go to emergency. I went to emerge. This was um, the 27th December. I had two uh, dermatologists and a tropical disease specialist attend to me. They had no idea what it was. Wow. And, and so they gave me a, a large dose of prednisone, which is anti-inflammatory. And so I looked at the prescription and I jumped in the car and went home. And I sat there for a minute and I said to my wife, I'm not, I'm not taking that prednisone. Phytoimmune, we've done research on phytoimmune. We know it drops C-reactive protein and interleukin-6. I'm not making this up. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, well, we know it reduces these markers. I don't know why, but I took 12 capsules, six in the morning and six at night. And the doctor wanted me to go back in about seven days to see where my C-reactive protein was sitting. Mm -hmm. Mine was 41 and it's supposed to be well under one. So it was totally through the roof. Um, and when it gets that high, it can cause a lot of issues with your heart. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, about seven days, I went for a blood test again and uh, the doc called me and I went in to see her and she said to me, my goodness, you responded really well to the prednisone. <laughs> and I said, well, actually, doc, I didn't take it. Oh, oh, no, no. You don't drop from 41 C-reactive protein to under one. Um, what did you do? And I told her I took phytoimmune 12 caps a day. She was intrigued, but didn't really buy into it. So it dropped from 41 to 
0.9, and now it's sitting at 0.3. Wow. I just had it tested three months ago, wow. and it stays at that very, very low level. And that's on two phytomune every day. I take one in the morning and one at night. Okay, so, you, so that's what I wanted to, another thing I wanted to say is you, so you have to take it first thing in the morning, not around fat. Is that correct? Correct, because the plant sterols are chemically very similar to cholesterol. Oh. So, and if you're eating cholesterol in the diet, fatty things like milks, cheeses, things like that, it blocks the absorption and uh, reduces the efficacy of it. So okay. if you want to uh, use it for autoimmune allergies, colds, things like that, then the morning dose is the most important dose. Okay. Now, if you want, and I hope this doesn't confuse people, but if you have high cholesterol and you wanna take it to lower your cholesterol, then you take it about 15 minutes before a meal and the plant sterols block the receptor sites from bringing in the sterols in your diet. Oh, interesting. That's how it reduces cholesterol. Okay. So what I'm getting, I'm getting calls from people right now that are ordering this because they have allergies and they're saying this is when their allergies get brutal and the phytoimmune works really, really well for allergies. So why is that? So we did a double blind placebo controlled trial at the University of Guelph in Canada. That's the number one standard for trials. We didn't do it on a little mouse because their bodies are not the same as ours. We didn't right. do it on a dog. Has to be on humans to get a good result. Yeah. So what we found was that the product reduces basophils and basophils are an immune response. So if you encounter uh, grasses or plants or, or even during the winter months, um, winter mold, yeah. It causes histamine. So basophils release histamine. So if you go into the drugstore and you buy Claritin, Claritin breaks down the histamine, but it doesn't address the, the, the basophils, which is what you want. So phytoimmune stops the, the, the production of basophils, which creates the histamine. Um, fantastic for allergies. If you were to ask me, what condition does it work the quickest and fastest? I would say allergic reactions. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, absolutely. And again, inflammation connected, right? Upper respiratory tract infection, nasal infection, allergies, all has C-reactive protein interleukin-6 associated with it. So if someone was, you know, wanting to really protect themselves from let's say a virus that's out there in the world right now, could they, could this be something they could add to their, you know, like vitamin C, what are people taking? Vitamin C, zinc, um, vitamin D. I think people are, I, I know I'm taking vitamin E. Is this something this could be added to someone's daily? Supplement? Absolutely. With, without, without a hesitation, um, it, the, pr the problem right now is weakened immune responses uh, and the mucosal membranes. So this also, we had a doctor in the UK, I was at a trade show about 10 years ago and he approached me and he said, um, I'm an immunologist and my speciality is the mucosal immune response. And so right now the virus enters the body through the mouth, the nose and the eyes, especially the eyes. So um, that's one of the main receptor sites for viruses in the eyes. So try to avoid, wow. which is almost impossible, scratching your eyes and stuff. But um, so I, I do 10,000 milligrams per day right now of vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Yeah. I do 10,000 IU of vitamin D3. Right. And I only do it in liquid form. It's better absorbed than in capsule or tablet form. Okay. Um, I do about 800 IU of vitamin E. And right now I'm doing four um, phytoimmune as well. So phytoimmune has a combination uh, of ingredients called salicate. And one of them is zinc. We've got 10 milligrams per capsule of zinc. And there was a fantastic study just came out from the University of McGill here in Montreal in Canada, showing the importance of zinc during this time. And if you remember, anybody watched President uh, Trump a while ago when he got COVID, um, they were giving him large doses of zinc. Right. 
very, very beneficial. Yeah. yeah that's so right. here's one other thing. Um, regardless of what you take it for, it's a really good idea to do a loading dose. Okay. So that means you up the dose at the very outset. So if somebody's just starting to take it today, do maybe two in the morning, two at night, or even three in the morning and three at night. And as the symptoms reduce, start to reduce the dosage down. So doctors call that a loading dose. Okay. And it's very important to get the body responding to it quickly. We find today we're, we're not very patient, are we? So people want quick results. <laughs> so a loading <laughs> dose is really, really helpful. Yeah. And one other really point, with pneumonia and virus, sometimes it's critical to pulse the dose. So pulsing is really an interesting technique. So you might do one capsule today, two tomorrow, back down to one the third day, up to four, back to two, up to four. So you keep changing the dose. These viruses now are called smart virus for a specific reason. They adapt very quickly to certain doses. So if you change the dosage up all the time, they don't get used to it. Wow, that's really smart. So it, I one thing that Charles had said about this is that it's like, there's two things. It's like the immune system of the plant that you're actually eating. And then it's also like a concentration of salads. Is that, is that could that be a way of putting it? Absolutely. Um, the plant sterols um, come from all types of... Um, vegetables and fruits and uh, we actually extract ours from soybeans mm -hmm. and there's a very specific reason for doing that mm -hmm. so um, I don't want anybody to be alarmed if they think they're allergic to soy because we're just using the soy as the place to extract the plant sterols mm -hmm. you could extract them from celery broccoli mm -hmm. uh, sugar cane uh, an apple it's just not commercially feasible but in soy there's some phytonutrients in soy that are very helpful with cancer patients. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to go too deep into that subject because that can be a little, yeah. a little, uh, yeah, iffy for people, but yeah. um, sure. Yes. If I had something like that going on in my life, I'd absolutely be using this. There's some great studies have come out of the university of Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Dr. Awad was testing phytonutrients and he was only using 20 milligrams per capsule mm -hmm. we have 300 milligrams which is a really powerful dose of phytonutrients okay. and so if i could just step back the university of leicester that we were doing some research with and i was saying earlier that the the average diet should give off three to four hundred milligrams and it's only given off 40 to 60. Wow. so when the research team went to an organic region of mexico we found that when we tested their blood profile, they were getting three to 400 milligrams a day of plant sterols. Mm -hmm. And the incidences of allergies and other autoimmune diseases were almost zero. Wild. So it's important to get that in your diet. That's why you have to uh, supplement because the diet's just not giving yeah. that out. We don't have any nutrients in our soil and whatnot. No. So if someone was taking, uh, like was on chemotherapy or radiation, which I do have people that ask me about this, would they take this during their dosing of, of chemotherapy or would they do it after? And that's another very delicate, sensitive okay. uh, question. However, yeah. let me sort of put it this way. Um, if it was me, I would probably do it. And there's enough research. I've seen some really interesting mm -hmm. research that says that if you're doing really good antioxidants and phytoimmune is also known as an antioxidant. Right. When we got our license from Health Canada, one of the things they said to us was that it was a very potent antioxidant. So they actually allow us to say that on any literature that we want. So it's a very strong antioxidant. And, and when you take antioxidants during those treatments, it doesn't diminish the quality of the treatment, mm -hmm. but it also in a lot of people can help reduce nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, mm -hmm. and in some cases, loss of hair. Okay, oh, okay, okay. So there are other plant sterols on the market. What makes this one more unique or? Um, most of them are very weak. Mm -hmm. They don't use very high doses. Okay. Um, for instance, with Health Canada, in order to get a claim like we have, mm -hmm. 
where the product reduces um, cholesterol, LDL. We also found in our studies, we raised HDL, which is really important. But Health Canada, uh, normally with a, a lower dose product, they would say you have to take five grams per day. Whereas with our product, Phytoimmune, you can get away with taking one to two capsules per day and you'll get the same powerful effects as you would in taking five grams of, of some other product. Plus the, the important factor that it's enteric coated. So if you're getting a 20 milligram product that's not enteric coated, and I know most of them aren't, mm. then you're only getting about five milligrams per day, which is nothing. Right. I call that the holy sprinkle. <laughs> Doesn't really do an awful lot. So we were talking about like, is there any other particular phytoimmune testimonials that stand out in your mind that you could possibly share with people? I'm sorry, I missed the question. Um, any any particular phytoimmune testimonial that? Yes, we get them continually. Yeah. We get lots from physicians, which I love. Great. Um, yeah. MDs and NDs. Yeah. But um, I had a lady just last week, literally, I should send you her uh, testimony. It was amazing. She had alopecia for years, so completely bald. Oh, just like a, yeah, okay. yeah, like a billiard cue uh, ball, and not a hair. And she had tried everything, steroids, hormones, everything. And she was in a, a health food store, and somebody knew about the product. And they said, oh, you should try phytoimmune. It's amazing for helping people with the immune system. And uh, she took it for about three months, and she just sent me... Um, an email she says I had to get a hold of you my hair is about 80 percent back in three months yeah she's doing three capsules per day 80 percent back and we did um a little case study a few years ago on six children that were down syndrome they have a typical um affinity to losing hair and some of them are bald mm -hmm. and all six of them, we dosed at four per day and within a few months, hair growth was back significantly. Wow. So it's encouraging the immune system to function properly, right? And so that's what it does. So my, my dad's partner is in the hospital right now with acute diverticulitis. Oh. And they have her on... She hasn't gone had a bowel movement in seven days. Um, she's on morphine for the pain and some sort of antibiotic. So I'm wondering if she could take this product. I mean, if you can sneak it into her, right. um, they're not going to agree with that, right? Yeah. Like the, the theory with mainstream medicine is to take nothing. And, and I suppose. There's a bit of an argument they could say a lot of supplements are not um, properly tested, right? They don't go through double blind placebo trials that we went through. Yeah. And, and then there's the other factor. Sometimes what happens in the universe, we, we, we don't have any sense to back it up. It, it happens. Doctors say it frequently. Why did patient A get better and patient B didn't the yeah. same condition? Yeah. There's things go on that we can't. We just can't figure out, we can't answer. But for that, that's again, autoimmune response. Oh. Big time. And so you need to calm down those T cells, mm. the T helper cells and the inflammation. Yeah. I wonder like, so why, why does she struggle with that? Like she's struggled with that for so long. What, what is that? There's so many factors that come into play. Um, we hear it all the time. And sometimes I think we just shrug our shoulders uh, when somebody says, oh, it's stress. Stress is a big part of what happens to us. And so as soon as we go through a stress period, whether it's loss of a job, a divorce or a death in the family, whatever, we go through a high level of stress. Yeah. Then the body breaks down and we all respond to stress differently. Wow. For me, it could be heart. For yeah. you, it could be allergies or somebody else, rheumatoid arthritis. It. So it's all different. But the same underlying factor is occurring, yeah. that immune imbalance and inflammation through the roof. Wow. So this is an anti-inflammatory. Yes, a strong anti-inflammatory. Yeah. 
So here's another thing. So if somebody's listening and saying, well, I don't really have anything going on. Yeah. Could I still take that? Absolutely. You could take one capsule every day yeah. or even every second day. It stays in the body for about 48 hours. Oh. Most other products with plant sterols in them, they peak very quickly. Then they drop off. Phytoimmune rises slowly over 48 hours wow. and drops off slowly. So there's more response in the body to the product. Wow. So one other question is, would someone go through a detox if they started taking this product? We've had a few people, not many, but we've had a couple call and say they developed a few pimples and they felt kind of off for a few yeah. days. And then it was like the light went on at the end of the tunnel and they started to feel better. Um, so we've had a few say that. Okay. Um, and we've had people say that um, they feel more energy. Mm. Especially people um, with multiple sclerosis, for some weird reason, mm. um, they seem to report to us that um, they get more energy when they take the product. Well, that's one thing I've noticed is like I, I haven't used it for a while just because I've been under so much stress with my brother passing and my mother being in a care home and just all these changes. I didn't take care of my health for a while. Um, and I did just start taking this because I knew we were going to be having this uh, conversation. And I notice my uh, like a happier mood. I notice more energy. I was kind of more in my body. Um, I, yeah, I noticed like I, I have had a rash on my body for a while. I don't I didn't know why. So um, I just think I thought it was because of stress. I've been under so much stress. So um, I noticed this kind of took down the itchiness of my, my skin's just been so like ravenously red and itchy. So I noticed a few things just in a matter of days of me taking the product. It works quite quick. In some people, they respond very quickly to it. Um, there's a doctor in Seattle, Dr. Klinghardt. He's a medical doctor. He's German and he practices in the Seattle area. And he's one of the top um, researchers in Lyme's disease. Mm. He's also um, very into muscle testing. Right. And um, he, he, he has told me at a conference that Phytomune is one of the most powerful um, muscle testing products that he's ever experienced. And so I've had people take the product and hold it to their chest and they just feel this warmth or something i think there's an energy in it and i've had some doctors actually say that to me medical doctors and they said there's an energy in this product and we find that when people take it not only does their health improve but so does their spirit and don't you think the two are so connected oh yeah Absolutely. you know if the spirit's enlightened yeah. the body follows or vice versa yeah. so yes i think there's a, a an energy with it if you would for sure. So if you, if it has the um, seaweed on it, are, is there a, is there a bit of iodine that people are getting in this product? A huge amount of iron and other minerals that are found in seaweed. It's a big proponent of um, iron. Um, in Ireland, you can go to a grocery store and buy a bag of, of uh, seaweed and we eat it a lot over there. Um, like I said, growing up as a kid, my mom, we used to pick it and she used to put it in between two slices of fresh bread. And that's what we went to school with. It, it was like eating bacon in between bread to me, but <laughs> my, my kids didn't think that, but no, uh, very, very good for you. Yeah. But iodine. So there's iodine. Yes. And full iron. of iodine. Yeah, wow. which, which helps with the uh, thyroid gland. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've had some doctors use it on patients with uh, Hashimoto's, wow. which is a thyroid issue, also autoimmune. Like if you look at all these things that they are common in society, um, allergies, asthma, these are all inflammatory based conditions, yeah. every one of them. Yeah. And there's about 120 different autoimmune conditions. Mm. Health Canada just uh, designated multiple sclerosis now as an autoimmune disease. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, so a lot of them, it's the body attacking itself. Yeah. You have to try and calm that down. So um, just to go back with the iodine, because I, I see a doctor here because um, I've struggled with. I would like 
iodine deficiencies. I do think a lot of a lot of people that struggle with it um, have high stress kind of situations and they burn through it. There's a, I, I also feel that 5G does a lot to um, our body, like the radiation. I think our bodies, we need more iodine now more than ever. I know for me, I do like an iodine test. I'll do like the Lugol solution and I'll just drop it on my arm. And what my doctor has said is if, like, if it dis my naturopath, um, if it disappears within, within four hours, it means you're deficient. So I like, I drop constantly on my arm. I'll put a drop in my water. I burn through it so fast. Cause I've noticed that ever since they put this 5g around, you know, that things are just, it just causes so much stress on our bodies. I think that, that's another thing that's going on right now is. Yeah. And we're so plugged into computers and phones, right? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I changed my uh, phone provider about two months ago from Rogers to tell us, but tell was really pushing me to get a new phone that was in, would enable the 5g. And I, yeah. I'm like, I've read enough about that, that it kind of scares me. Yeah. It, it, not only is it invasive, but it's invasive physically. Yeah. Like Alan was a great proponent. He, he would never have an iPhone or a phone. Never. He says, Jack, I'm a nuclear physicist. When you look at what these things are giving off and guys that are walking around with one in their pocket and they wonder why there's such a or women in their bra, which is a big thing. Breast cancer, yeah. prostate cancer, never carry it on your body. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know if it gets my head, but I, 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 I am a texter. I am. I do that a lot. And actually it does affect the body. It's weird. And I was just thinking about this last night with telephones, like just having your cell phone on, like, it's like, you're having like a television and a phone and you're like your office and everything, your fingertips. It's just, it's not normal. It it's is not. We need to reduce the usage of these things. We really do. Right. And not be the master to them. Like when you hear the text, button or the email or the phone oh, just make oh, your phone yeah. Yeah. Let them uh-huh. wait. Yeah. well i think we covered everything jack it's been such a pleasure i'm just i'm so excited about this product and i have to say that now that i've started to take it it does make me feel confident it brings like this safety feeling i feel more empowered when i take it because like what you said it's just there's something really special about it so it, thank you it, for, for making not just product. because it's my product or our product, but yeah. it, it really is a great product. I, I I have no issue recommending it to people at all. Yeah. It's made with top quality European and North American ingredients, mm-hmm. and um, Health Canada's approved it. We've got about twenty five claims that they allow us to use. Most products have one or two. Wow. And, and as you said in the onset, um, we've got three patents on the product and the patents are on the actual ingredients. It's really difficult to get patents on natural medicines. Right. We've got three, two in Canada, one in the States and one pending in the European Union right now. So Wow, uh, amazing. Like when you say claims, what do you mean? Well, um, here's some of the things. I'll, I'll read it real quick. Thank you. <laughs> this, this is Health Canada's license here. And so they say um, the product lowers blood total cholesterol, low density lipoprotein. It maintains healthy cholesterol. So that means if your cholesterol is normal, it will help keep it normal without having to go to statin drugs. Wow. Um, it's a factor in the maintenance of good health. It, uh, where is it here? It maintains and supports the immune function through T cells. It helps the energy and metabolism of tissue formation. It maintains healthy skin through connective tissue formation. Like these are massive claims. This is a supplement, you have to remember. It's not a medicine as a pharmaceutical you would think of. Right. So for Health Canada to name these things, it, pro- help, it protects cells against oxidative damage. Wow. So we, we did a study in Oregon to see how the product would enter the cell membrane. And it's, it's actually phenomenal. And it causes um, apoptosis, which is cell death. Mm-hmm. So anyone that's undergoing, let's call it cellular dysfunction, mm-hmm. then this can really help by speeding up the death rate of a rogue cell. Uh, Health Canada has allowed us to say that. 
Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, so pretty potent. So Great no product. negative side effects. There's no, I mean, how can it be possible? How there could be In 23 anything? years, no side effects. So Nothing okay. but good yeah. results and feedback. Yeah. And, and before I close, yeah. I love chatting to people. Anyone wants to email me or has questions, I, I'm happy to answer them as much as I can. And That's great, Jack. Thank yeah, you. Very I like connecting with people. Yeah. It's not just selling product. We're here to help people as much as we can. Well, I, you know, and this is something that gives people confidence. And you know what? How would you feel about maybe us trying this again or doing this again and doing a, a live stream in the next couple of weeks, maybe? Because I think... Love to. Okay. Love to. Be I happy should... to do that. Okay. Well, Great. thank you so very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And if people want your book also, where would they find Immunity Unlocked? Um, it was in chapters for a while, but I don't think it is now. But we, we can we can send some out. If, if some people want to order uh, your, the product from you, maybe I can send some books over to you. And you can, uh, I'm happy to give them a free book. Just educate people. They can share the book with friends or family. Spread the word. Okay, well, thank you. That's so generous. Thank you so much, Jack. I really appreciate your time. And we'll thank you so much. My pleasure. Talk to you real soon. Yep. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye.